So we all know trail shoes are great for trails, but I wanted to take the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 out for a snow run and see how that epic traction does in these loose conditions. Walking around in this, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. I don't feel like it's slippery or not, but let's go for a run. Let's see how this thing performs in the snow and let's see what it's like running zero drop in snow because that's new to me. Anyways, let's jig it out. About 30 minutes in and so far, I'm just loving it. I feel like this is an absolutely perfect snowshoe. Waterproof, it's a bit heavy, it's clunky. It's designed for this. It's not a lightweight trail shoe. It's a burly son of a gun that'll take you up steep pitches and get through some nice packed snow. So running on a snowy kind of plowed surface seems okay. I have plenty of traction. I'm not even slipping on the icy bits. I can tell you now, the zero drop, definitely feeling it. Don't usually run in zero drop. Honestly, I do feel pretty connected to the ground, even though it's a nice rugged platform with nice traction. I do feel the road. And I do feel these snowflakes hitting me straight in the eye. All right, let's see how we do on some groomed packed snow. Whoa, slippery. You can do it. You can certainly run on this type of stuff where it's been groomed and you're not gonna sink in too much, but the shoe being waterproof as it is, paired with some gaiters, would really be spectacular. No gaiters today, just wool socks and a nice, good waterproof shoe. Coolest part about this shoe is the waterproof bit and the traction bit. So that's why this is a good snow runner, good rugged trail runner, and overall, I don't know, I think just one of those trail shoes you'll, if you can get over the heel blister area issue that a lot of people have had, you'll be cruising along, no problem. As far as cushioning support, it does feel like this shoe kind of hugs the midfoot and the toe box gets super wide. I mean, I can wiggle my toes around a lot. The ankle and Achilles support system could use a little bit more elevation. I like to see it come up a little higher and cup the back of this heel. That way I don't get any rubbing or chafing or blistering. Sorry, I'm walking right now because I have to make some oxygen choices at 10,000 feet. Snow running in any regard is gonna be super tough. You're gonna probably go to snowshoes or put some spikes on. But if you're in this type of terrain where you've got some plowed surfaces, you've got a bit of traction that you can get from the grip of this shoe, which is just exceptional, snow running's for you. This is a good trail shoe and I'll have it in my arsenal for days like this. It's not lightweight, it's not a racer. But anyways, the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 has seen a few upgrades and honestly, I think they're good. I like this shoe. It'll be my go-to trail slash snow running shoe, especially since it's waterproof, as you can see. So yeah, give it a shot. It's really, really well priced. You're not gonna break the bank and it's gonna last you quite a bit, especially if you're in the trails. Have fun out there.